Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the start device on your refrigerator. It's a really easy repair. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, we will need access to the back of the refrigerator and we'll also need to disconnect the power. So the easiest thing to do is to simply pull the refrigerator far enough forward that you can unplug it. If you have a water dispenser or an ice maker with your refrigerator, you need to make sure that you have enough water line there to allow you to pull that refrigerator far enough forward, or you'll need to turn off that water supply and disconnect the in that water line. Once we've done that, we're ready to start the repair. Now we've got our water line disconnected, our power disconnected. We can then go ahead and remove that back panel. They're typically held in place with quarter inch hex edge screws. Most models, you'll need to slide that grommet on the power cord up out of that slot in the back panel. And then you can safely remove it. And now we have access to that start device. Now with the back panel out of the way, you can see that start device mounted on the side of the capacitor and a little spring clip that holds it to that. So that will be our next step is to remove that spring clip. We'll grasp it at the top and unhook it. And just tilt that out of the way. And then we'll grab that whole assembly and pull that off. And what we want to make sure is that we don't damage any tubing that might be in this area. So simply rock that back and forth, release it from the terminals on the compressor. We can pull it out where we can access the harness connector. We'll just release that locking tab. And then we can take that assembly right out of there. Now we'll need to remove that capacitor from the original start device. It should pull straight off. If not, take a flat blade screwdriver and just pry up gently on the bottom. Discard the old start device, line up the terminals and the locating hole for that tab. Press that firmly down onto the new start device. Now, when installing the new start device, you look at the back side of that, you'll see there are three terminals there. A single one on the overload device will go on the bottom. So that device will mount like this. We'll simply line it up with the terminals on the compressor. And we'll go ahead and attach the harness first. Make sure the locking tab engages. Make sure it's pressed firmly onto that compressor and making a good contact. We'll then take the spring clip, make sure that's hooked on the bottom. Now you may find with the mounting strap that it is now too large for this style of start device. So you may have to modify that. Unhook it from the bottom and pull it completely out of that cavity and then we'll put a more severe increase in that angle in the center here. Now we've reshaped that metal clip and we're going to put it on in the reverse position with the sharper hook on the top, fit it into that same hole. Now with both the top and the bottom hooked, we now have that start device secure so that it can't vibrate loose. And now we're ready to put the back panel back on. So now when reinstalling that back panel, we want to make sure that the bottom edge of that tucks inside of the lip at the back of the cabinet. We'll line up that grommet with the slot on the top. There are a couple of notches cut in that grommet. 
It will allow us to slide that down into place. And we'll line up screws on both sides first to make sure that we have it straight. And then we can go ahead and tighten those. And now we can prepare to put the refrigerator back into the cabinets. We can now plug the refrigerator back in, push it back into place, reconnect the water line if you've disconnected it, and your repair is complete.